when the first publication came out about genomic heterogeneity on kidney cancer, um, this was really striking because for a molecular pathologist, that means that almost every cancer cell is different from another cancer cell. And what I'm interested in is how does this genetic heterogeneity lead to probably a potential proteomic heterogeneity? So is this kind of heterogeneity really found also on a proteomic level? Or is this just a bystander effect that we do not have to take into account in the future for therapy? Genomic and proteomic heterogeneity is bringing us into a dilemma because we have to cope with the fact that the tumor behaves like, a, like, an, like an organism um, that is capable of reacting to treatment. So, and what we have now seen through many different studies from others and from our own data, that when you treat a tumor patient with a certain drug, that there are escape mechanisms of this tumor and the patient, um, upon this treatment. The question is, if we know the resistance mechanisms, can we find a way to measure these and also react? So it's not just about precision medicine finding a drug tre a treatment option, it's about knowing how to follow up the patient under treatment and coping with the resistance mechanisms. In a patient with prostate cancer, uh, and these um, metastases, or these patients have metastases mainly in, in the bone, in the spine. You will not get a biopsy out of the tumor. And let's say there are different, um, or these tumors are heterogeneous, then you would have to take even different bone biopsies. So this is not possible. So we have to find a way to do either a liquid biopsy, but then the question is what do we look, and is it re representative? So I think that we have to do our homework first and get to know from model organisms and by doing clinical studies, we have to know what happens and then find ways to measure this. So what I would like to show is the proteomic heterogeneity of prostate cancer patients. And what I was interested in is if I take a small biopsy of a prostate cancer, how representative is it for that particular disease. So we would like to know what is first of all the technical variation and what is the biological variation within each tumor and from patient to patient. And we have done a study and we are even now doing a very large study where we try to extrapolate these data and what we have found is that the intra-tumor heterogeneity is by far higher than the interpatient heterogeneity when it comes to the variation of the results. Yeah? So we have to not only measure one very small biopsy, but probably two or three different areas, and it is not defined how we are going to do that. But first of all, I have to measure it and have to look at the data and then learn from the data to make any assumptions. So from what I've seen uh, is Queergene is offering a very comprehensive um, analysis pipeline from DNA isolation to generation of the reports and filtering of the uh, variants. And my hope is that um, by collaborating with Queergene, I could see that this whole process could be standardized quite well.